Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football, and we're back again with another video. I'm with my boy Gunnar Souls in the building. How are you doing, Gunnar Souls? I'm good, man. I'm good. Can't wait for Tuesday to actually watch us again. Yeah, there you go. And, and I just want to get this show started by saying big up everyone in the comment section. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Today on this video, we're going to be discussing does Mikhail Arteta deserve a new contract extension? Because of course, if you haven't heard, there's reports floating about that Mikhail Arteta will be given a new contract extension. And of course, the future of Mikhail Arteta's uh, is always a topic of discussion and it is always something that divides some opinions because there is a large portion of the fan base, or should I say a large online presence in the fan base that wants the manager sacked or doesn't like Mikel Arteta. And there's a large portion of the fan base that likes Mikel Arteta. So we're going to try to have a balanced argument here and talk about the, the cases for and against Mikel Arteta getting a contract extension today on this stream. But before we go any further, let me show you guys the actual tweet and and the and the discussion around who uh, who gave us the news that Mikel Arteta will potentially be getting a new contract. Now, Souls, what was your first reaction when you heard about this? I think it's too early. I think um, he's got enough time to negotiate this next season. But obviously, let's see the tweet and we can get into like the positives, I guess, and negatives of this all. Personally, when I've seen it, first thing I said to myself is on January 6th, almost beginning of the month, 20 days, 21 days ago, we spoke about this on the channel. We said, oh, Mikel Arteta is getting really close to that 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 deadline where you, you start discussing a new contract. And guess what? Lo and behold, today the new, uh, or yesterday, the news dropped. And we didn't do a video yesterday, but we're going to do it now. Actually, yeah, it was just 24 hours ago. So Arteta is expected to sign a new contract extension and will be announced soon. Comes from uh, Joffe Arsenal, quite big uh, Twitter account. Don't know the, how reliable they are. But of course, Z does not post stuff that from people who d he does not believe are extremely credible. So this is the report at this moment in time. There's also been some major publications that have run with it also. So that's how you know there is a level of validity behind the, the statement. It's not just some random Twitter account. But yeah, this is what people are saying. And this is where we have to start the conversation. Arteta in his time at Arsenal, bro. There has been ups, there has been downs, there has been back-to-back -back eighth places, there's been an FA Cup win, there's been bottle, a bottling of top four and a title run. It seemed like he's been with us for only a couple of years, but it's now approaching, he potentially could be his sixth year next year. Am I wrong? So it's fifth, yeah, it's fifth or sixth year, yeah. yeah no, it could... Actually, technically, it officially would be his uh, fourth full year this year. Yeah. And then next year would be his official fifth year. But if you want to count the six months where he first came in, it's kind of complicated. So let's get let's run through it. I want to know your initial thoughts. You said it's too soon. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it's not looking great for Arteta in terms of Again, once again, first rounds of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup are knocked out of. Obviously, we're going to see what happens in Europe, but even in his two seasons that he's had Europa League in as well, he's been knocked out first time again in both of them. So it does kind of bring back the question of, is he doing enough to warrant a contract extension? Is he good enough to really get Arsenal to the glory? Because right now we're at the very verge of it. And the way that I kind of look at it is similar to the Gareth Southgate situation at England where... Yes, he's doing a good job in terms of getting us into the finals, getting us into conversations of being a favourite for winning like the Premier League, winning the Champions League, winning, you know, the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup, etc. But can he do it? Does he have it in him to do it? And I feel like rewarding a contract or a, a, a seal of faith, in a sense, in the middle of a season which isn't looking great can go one of two ways. It could either relax Arteta and go, do you know what, no matter what I do, I'm still going to be here. Or it could be the motivator behind actually kicking him into gear and getting this team firing. I, I mean, it can go either way. But for me, I think you do at the end of the season, you evaluate what happens. You come into next season and just see how things are looking. Are they improving? Is he able to get that win? Or you have it on contingent basis. So if you can deliver, we extend this contract. If you can't, then we part ways. I don't know. I mean, I could be I, I think it's a good thing. And here's why. Uh, I think Mikel Arteta has done quite well in the time that he's been here by, one, 
developing the culture, two, getting rid of a lot of the rotten apples, three, getting us back to being competitive and, and, and playing at the top of our game. There's only been two teams better than us in the time that he has been here, which I would say is Man City and, of course, none other than the, than the team themselves, Liverpool. Those have been the two teams that have been consistently better than us. His tactically, had, the team has improved massively on the pitch. Um, the, the fact, our recruitment, some of the players we've been bringing in, I feel like we've brought in some good quality players like the likes of uh, Ben White, Martin Odegaard, and others who have come in and massively lifted the quality in this team. But there's also negatives. So we're going to get into all of that. I'm just going to say this, the case for Mikel Arteta to, to get the contract extension, my main case behind it, one, you don't want a manager going into their last season of their contract managing your club. There's, I think that's a heavy distraction over somebody's head. They want that level of security and also the players that they're going to be signing to the, to, that are going to be joining the club want to know the person that they're signing for is going to be there and has a level of trust how are we going to have Mikel Arteta going into the summer transfer window making his signings if if he doesn't even have a guarantee over his own future number two the structure of the club this I actually don't agree with in the sense that the structure of the club should be a little bit better but the structure of the club at this moment in time is strongly tied to Edu and Arteta there's no one else outside of them too making the decisions at the top level so other than Richard Garlick I don't think he he's a decision maker, from my perspective. I think he's just across the T's, dot the I's. Arteta and Edu are the two main guys, and from what I can see, it's more more Arteta than Edu at this moment in time. Number three, when it comes to um, constant change of managers, who's to say we sack Arteta and we get better? Who's to say we sack Arteta and we go into carousel of managers that doesn't benefit us in the long run? And then. Here, uh, I've already listed the laundry list of things. Performances on the pitch improved. Tactically, we've improved. The young nucleus, the cohesion in the squad massively improved from where it was previously. And then the final thing, you guys want to talk about success on the pitch. Yes, we didn't win silverware. And we're going to talk about that in a second in the arguments against. But from where we were to where we are now, we are so close to major success that I don't, I, I feel like throwing the baby out of the bathwater, even if the season ends trophyless, could be detrimental to our progress. Because I, I still don't think we have a team that is ready made to be taken over and just to push over the edge. I still think this team needs a little bit more work. And, and based on how people are upset about rotation, how they're upset about signings, Yes, you can be ha upset about Havertz and all these other Eddie and Ketia that we've that we've given a new contract and all these things. 